Hey folks, and welcome to my thoughts on a book. And today's book is The Little Book of Batman by Paul Levitz. At least I hope that's how you pronounce his surname. Oh, and this, uh, the name that was here, that's probably the publishing company. I'll uh, just uh, leave it down below in the description. Publishing company, I mean publishing house. Right. So, this book was not what I was expecting it to be from the first few pages that I read. Uh, it starts with, uh, why do we love Batman? And it brings the, uh, the fact that, you know, we, we empathize with what he went through. Of losing both his parents and then him uh, deciding, deciding to do something about it in the future. You know, dedicate his life to protect people. And then, you know, and then I knew we would have, like, the Golden Age, the... Oh, wait, let me... I had here the... One moment, please. Okay, well, um... Oh, and it has uh, the Why Do We Love Batman and also in two other languages included. All right, so we have in here, like, the Golden Age, the Silver Age, the Bronze Age, the Dark Age, and the Modern Age. So I thought, okay, so it's gonna be, you know, like a, like a historical book. We're gonna learn uh, about these ages. Uh, no, not exactly. So what each, the, you know, this, uh, the ages are from page to page. So it tells you the years of, uh, from what year the Golden Age started and ended. And, uh, to, it tells that to all the ages. And what it has, it has the pictures as photographs of, Photographs. Yeah, it has photos, and it has uh, art, and, and all sorts of other items. In the Golden Age, you also have uh, masks that they uh, did for a, mo a movie premieres to promote the movie. And actually, a, a movie that uh, came out in the um, in the fifties uh, for for Batman later inspired the Adam West series. The, his Batman series. That was so cool. So it's full of all these little b bits and pieces of information. You have, like, who did the cover art and, uh, and story, because apparently in the end they say that back then they didn't really used to write that in issues and stuff, so they, uh, they even researched this whole stuff, and it has... Um, Oh, and it has this, uh, th there's this one guy that I did, uh, manage to remember. There were so many names, uh, and I, sh and I'm shit with names, so I'm, I don't re I don't even remember a few. Except I did recognize, uh, qu quite a few from already the modern age. So, it has, uh, Jerry Robinson, who, uh, apparently is a teenager, he worked on Batman, with Bill, uh, Bill Finger? I don't know how you pronounce his surname either. It, 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 it sounds finger in my head. Anyway, I'm not sure how cool that is. You're a teenager, you're working on Batman. You probably can't really have that today. But that was probably so cool in that time. You know, to, to go through those eras. Uh, that was probably awesome, you know, with all the changes in comics and all that. That was really cool. So apparently he, he actually helped with the creation of the Joker. Imagine how awesome that is. And also with Robin, who apparently was inspired from Robin Hood. All this time I thought he was based on the bird. The, the, the bird Robin. My bad. I think it's because of some fan art I saw a few years ago. So I always thought it was for the, for the bird Robin. I never thought of Robin Hood. And he's actually the one who added the R to Robin's costume. It's a really, it's a really cool information, and you have uh, quotes from people. Don't ask me to say even one because I probably won't, don't remember any after reading them. Takes me time, but yeah, it's all, all this awesome stuff. And you see, you even see toys, and um, there's one scene where we see Adam West and. Um, the, the, the man who played Robin, uh, they apparently used to do this gag on, on the show where they would climb, uh, the, you know, a rooftop building, and then a celebrity would make a cameo. Apparently, uh, kids, uh, kids and grandkids of celebrities 
would ask their parents or grandparents, you know, to go make friends with Batman. That is so cool. Oh, and you know, it was so good to see um, how uh, Batman was painted and drawn in other countries. There's um, there's two, I think, in, Jap in, in Japan. Well, one of them is, looks really horrible. Batman has, like, red painted lips. Ugh. An unfortunate choice. But yeah, it's really cool. And the art inside... Oh, and actually, uh, Jerry Robinson um, also has... There's a picture in here of a page of a comic that he saved. Of a cover. Where it's, it's a Joker coming out of a genie bottle with two guns. That's just so awesome. And all the art you see here and... Um, did she have the Catwoman up until after the 70s? She had a dress, apparently, as her costume. It was purple and green and had a... How impractical. Well, Batgirl's original outfit was also impractical. As well. The skirts and everything. How would they run? Oh, and there's one where... <laughs> and the Golden Age has so much cheesy stuff. I wonder if I would be able to read that. There's one where Batman has a different cape and crow in different colors. I mean, can you imagine that today? Batman lands on, you know, on some crooks trying to steal something. And he's wearing a pink or a green or a blue cape. Yeah, or, or orange or red. I think the criminals would ha have a heart attack just from that. That, that, that is so funny. Amazing, cheesy, but funny. I mean, wow. The stuff they had. And you also had a bad phone. Damn. I missed a lot of stuff. Well, I wasn't... I mean, hell. When, when half the stuff happened, my dad wasn't even born yet. That shit, it, it's amazing. I mean, There's probably so much more, but even for what you have here, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, uh, there's also, uh, now I did wonder what the Dark Age meant, you know, it's was like, and, uh, uh, Comics Addiction suggested maybe it was, you know, the, uh, the era of the, uh, you know, those horrible Batman movies with the bat nipples and George Clooney. And in that case, it should have been called the Embarrassing Age, or the Age That Shall Not Be Named. <laughs> Boy, that, well, that was so... Just think of those movies, the cringe. Also, why didn't Batgirl get any bat nipples? That's... Uh, where's the equality? I tell you. But no, the, the Dark Age is referring to where, to where... When they made Batman more dark. When Alan Moore came in the picture with the killing joke. Oh, uh, that, that's, that's some really cool stuff. The shame I and mean, a lot of these they really didn't write who the artist was. I mean, not not, not in here, but in, but in general, because that's some really cool pieces that you, and you don't know who drew them even. So yeah, this this is really good. I mean, not exactly a history book, and also like the, the writing is really small. If I had to complain about something, like look at that, that's tiny. Oh look. Ah, that's so cool. I look at these. You got such really cool stuff in here. I'll uh, try in my book wrap up to pick a couple to show you in, in that video because uh, today I got nothing. So not gonna make the video any longer. But yeah, if if you want, uh, you know, some some bits about uh, ages and about art and. Little pieces of information, you should definitely try out this book. And others like it. Man, now, now I want to get the Hulk and Spider-Man ones. Just to see what they have there. Probably also a lot of cool stuff. And, and the art. Definitely the art. Oh, and I even saw a photo from the, the Batman movie. Where the costumes look shit. They really did. Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, but this this is great. This is a cool book. I do recommend it if you want all sorts of information if you love Batman. And uh, if you want to get the others as well. I will. 
And I hope they still have someone if I get back there. I'm definitely buying another one. Oh, look at this. I love this piece of art. That's the Joker there. Ah, this is uh, the DC. Yeah, DC. Um, wait, does that mean the DC is the publishing? Anyway, uh, awesome book. I gave it four stars. I recommend it. That is it, folks. Till next time. Uh, try, try imagining Bats in a rainbow suit. Oh, and there's also one where he has a zebra suit. There have been some crazy shit. Bye!